Hi, I'm Rachel Dollar and I'm a visual artist from the Golden Valley, land of the Yorta Yorta Nation. I am a mixed media collage artist and I love shape, colour and texture. And today in our sketchbooks, we're going to be doing some little still life compositions focusing on shape, colour and texture. Okay, so for the first activity, you'll need either a pencil or a fine liner. I'm going to use a pencil and some objects from around your home. I've grabbed some, some of my favourite ceramic pieces, a little jug, a little vase by a Golden Valley artist and another vase by a Fremantle artist. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw from the right hand side of my brain. This is a great way to loosen up and to get ready for our big project. So what I'm going to do is without looking at my paper, I'm going to draw these shapes. And when I say shape, I mean the outline of each object. So just concentrating on the outside of the object, I'm just drawing what I see, not looking at my paper. And it's probably going to look really random. They're going to overlap, probably might not look like the shape at all, but that's okay. And voila. So feel free to do more of the drawing from the right hand side of the brain. As I said, it's a really great way to loosen up. Um, do one, do two, do three or four. Um, until you're ready to move on to our next step. So the next step is we're going to draw our composition by looking at our paper and getting it ready for our final artwork. This time I'm going to take a bit more care. I'm going to look at my page whilst I'm drawing, but I'm still going to keep that free, loose essence of our original drawings. I'm going to overlap and it doesn't have to be super realistic. Um, so you can use pencil, fine liner or marker, whatever you would prefer. I'm going to use fine liner. And again, not super realistic, but we get the essence of the objects. Okay, so now we're going to finalize our piece by adding some shape, color, and texture. So I like to use colored pencils, textures, cut paper. You'll need your scissors and your glue as well. There's no wrong or right way of doing this. I just use my gut instinct, what feels good. Um, and also it's good to um, add a bit of texture or pattern. So sometimes I use a grid, some zigzaggy lines, straight lines, polka dots. And also the cut paper is great for cutting shapes like square, circle and triangle. So off I go. Black, even though it isn't super colourful, I always find it's really great for making the other colours pop. I might add some lines now as a point of difference. And as you can see, the overlapping creates these cool little shapes that then when you colour them in, gives us that kind of abstract feel. Gonna add some grid-like texture to the jug. Now thinking about how I can use some cut paper, Maybe this bit could look quite cool here if I just adjust it a little bit. It's all about filling in the spaces and just kind of working with your gut and whatever feels great. Yep. Also, sometimes it's just as simple as a simple shape being added in to kind of tie everything together. And I love circles. Oh, 
I often like to fill the background just with colours that kind of tie it all together. So using the green here and the green here makes for a more even composition. So this is the final composition that I've come up with, super fun. Once you've done that, keep going. These are some other ones that I've made in my sketchbook using my trusty jug and two vases. And once you've kind of had a play in your sketchbook, why not create a big artwork? So these are some examples of ones I've done using acrylic paint, oil pastel, collage, cut paper, um, this one of, was of a load of cups that I'd stacked up and again this one is of my favourite chair. Um, lots of collaged and painted um, pattern elements in this one. So yeah, once you've had a play in your sketchbook, get out and make something big. <laughs>